Hi, have a good day. Uh, my name is Tixi Galvez. Um, today is April 26, 2021. Um, I would like to introduce you myself. Probably uh, a lot of people doesn't know about me, so I will, I will introduce myself. My name is Tixi Galvez. I'm originally a United States citizen born in the U.S. Okay, so on 2005, People, the, the people trick me, believe that I'm not a U.S. citizen. So this is the story. Um, usually, um, when I was on the city place here in Palm Beach County at South Dixie Highway, I was died and command my body. My body was in the coffin that was next the, the next building to the courthouse in Palm Beach County in the city place. Okay, so after I died, they, they somebody bring me to the mountain, and that's what I live. I live in the mountain at Ayumone Gross Oriental Philippines. So that what it started. So I was there and stayed there for many years, for a long time. After so many years of living, I lived in there for many years. I meet some people um, from the mountain, different kind of people. Um, the house experienced flooding on the build uh the mountain it destroys and then i died and come on my body in the mountain too um i saw i saw a man i don't know who they are he came to the house and raped me in the night but i already out of my body i discovered the mountain and the cave near in the river has a lot of snakes on the cave that's what i discovered after i died um after that um i discovered i meet egyptian people um visiting on the mountain so i meet different kind of people in the mountain um of some other thing that I remember, I was came from the dragon in the cave, um, in the dragon, in the other sides of the mountain. There was a place of the dragon, there was giant and huge. Um, after that, they bring me back to the house in the mountain uh, because there's somebody says, oh, I want a woman be here. They should not belong on the dragon. So I'll be out on the dragon's place and I'll be back on the mountain. After living in there, I was, I was raped on the night. I have a child, uh, triplets. Um, the witness on that that time that was born the child was Esther, my mother Tarshana, and an uncle. So on that night, I was having a child, and both of three of them are taken away from me at the same time. Um, Esther every night. She came to the house and asked for me a breast milk to give to the child. So I asking myself, why would you have to take away the child from me when when the mother can breastfeed the child and them don't? So I do not know where the child live. I asked Esther, where's my children? She said they were there with their father. So that's the story of my life. Um, after me, so many years passed by, um, I died again. Um, I um, that time with Esther when I having a child, I never died and come out of my body. So I still remember that thing. Um, after so many years passed by, everything was forgotten for me. I I forgot that I having a children. The only thing that I remember is now the next day that I having a child. Um, then after I'm having a child. Um. The Esther, my mother, a lot of young kids, um, they were in the house and they were eating coconuts. And Vic Vic and the mountain says that, oh, how are you going to feel all the food that you eat? So um, my mother ex says something un inappropriate to all the people and, and to us and saying, oh, bilat mo ibayad. Yan ang, that's the, the language on Visaya on the mountain, bilat mo ibayad. So after that, um, after so many years passed by, I died again and come out of my body and having a triplets kids. Um, and both are taken away from me. That was happening in near in the sugar cane at the mountain. 
um, they were uh, before that person that lived in the house was married to an Adelpha. Um, I have triplet kids on that time, and my body was huge and fat. Uh, I come out, I died, and come on my body. I delivered triplet kids, and then my body was taken away, and they bring the sugar cane, but I do not know what they're doing with it. Um, so that's the story. I have three three kids born, and they're all boys and white. Um, after that. Mm, I do not know where is the kids now and I do not know what's their names and I do not know where um, uh, that was before I was starting first grade anyway so so after that so many years passed by again um, I was I have so many children born on the house on the mountain um, they call them um, they, they take away from me every time I'm having a child and I do not know where to bring it. And I do not know what's their name. So we're all both strangers, even my children. So after so many years passed by, uh, I was going to school in first grade. All right. So when I going to the school in first grade in Buena Vista Elementary School, um, my birth certificate, the listed is name is Dixie Galvez. Oh. Um, after Dixie Galvez and then my father listed is Cesar Galvez and my mother that listed is Tarshana and I live in the mountain and all the children is so I was started before I started the first grade I'm having a lot of children already but I do not know where they at okay so then after that I was um after I graduate uh, fourth grade, fourth grade, then I went to that uh, uh, that went to the school in the town fifth grade because they only have few fourth grade on the mountain house. Okay, so before that, also I I die. Um, I'm on that night. There was a lot of military came to the house on the mountain, and. I was being raped with the faces that that look like Roger, um, that I think a boyfriend of Loretta or something. Um, I was being raped and then I I get pregnant right away. In the next day, I was I was living on the house Amona in the in the cave near in uh, Amdos Elementary School. Uh, between the Lions Place and the uh, uh, the Amdos Elementary School, I was in the cave. I have a child boy. Well, uh, while I'm pregnant, Florida knows that I was pregnant because she was with the Roger together. So he, she knows I was pregnant. So she said, what she's doing while I'm pregnant, she punched my stomach. She was jealous of me. Um, she has hatred and jealousy of me. I was pregnant with a child, um, but the child born normal. Uh, on that cave in Amdos Elementary School, what I discovered, uh, there was a, a man and a woman live in the cave, and then when they come out in the cave, they turn into a snake. So half snakes, half human, but they don't hurting me, they don't bother me, they just mind their own business, go to sleep in the bed, and go out in the cave. They don't even say hi, hello, hi, I do not know if they saw me. They don't say hi, how you doing? Like that, they just go sleep in the in the cave, go out on the cave, come back on the cave and sleep. But they don't, they don't, they, they just don't care. Okay, so so they don't hurting me. Um, the child, even though the um, the woman that punched my stomach, that looks like my sister. I don't know if she's my sister, cause. I don't know if I have a sister at all because she's for probably for me that she's not my sister. Sister don't do that to their own sisters. You don't punch a woman while they were pregnant. So she's not my sister. Um, so what is that? She punched my stomach. I feel dizzy because my stomach is so painful and hurt. But the child born normal. She, the child is a boy and white and then after that, there was a short white woman came to the cave and then 
she was uh, punched me in my stomach again uh, after delivering a child and then she's still a child she was flying like a bird so she's still a child from me I cannot fight back I feel dizzy I just deliver kids so I cannot fight back I don't have a lot of strength to do to fight back um after that after I'm after that, that there's no child on the cave they take it away from me so I have to get out on the cave so I don't have to live I go back to the house um probably my parents does not know I have a children I I guess um after that so many um the other thing that I was remember um on the night again there was Esther um uh, so if I could remember there was an earthquake see the song if you could see if you could uh, view the song a music video of Laroe um, the earthquake uh, that's the time I'm having a child okay so I'm having a child and I died okay uh, that's I'm not died with having a child okay so I explained it to you how I died okay so they kidnapped me in the house they bring me to the cave near near, near in the place where uh, Alejandri and uh, Benjamin lives near in the cave in the other opposite side is on the cave I was being bring in there and then, then get being raped and then I get pregnant and then the child is being taken away from me so after that they bring me back to the house after the child is taken away from me but I do not know the name of the child either um when they bring me to the house uh, on that night it was a full moon so the I was sitting outside the house because I could not sleep. When I could not sleep, I cannot sit in the house. So I just sit outside. Um, there was a, there was a tall man in there too. Um, there was a, a woman that looked like my mother has a curly hair, and she was there. Um, that that thing I died and come I died. Um, that's the cause of the earthquake anyway. Um, this not, I don't die by the, having a child. I died by biting on the the dog. On that night, I was sit on the on the ro near the rocks in the house. But the house is gone now; it's destroyed. But I still remember if I have to go back on that place. Um, the 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 dog ran very fast, and then they bite into my legs, and then I feel I feel I feel died and come out. I didn't I didn't die and come out of my body. I just knock out like i don't have life at all and then that's the cause of the earthquake um there was a woman that i do not know who they are she was laughing about my death um after that yeah that's the cause of the earthquake so that's what i remember about laroe when she sang that song because of me. that was for me that song it's related to my life okay so the baby people doesn't know me that's my story it's not their story it's mine um after that i was um probably all my 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 in the classmates in school is my it's my uh kids that i don't know everything was erased in my memory all right um after after so many years passed by so that's the thing that i remember i'm having children i was going to the town a town in the beef um on the school on, on on the town they have there was a house so uh before all these things happened when i'm having a children that i died i was already discovered on this on the town so i live on the town but um that was nowhere where me and Bakaro live together. But before before I start the Bakaro when she's my teacher supposed to in the third grade and fourth grade. But before that thing happened, um, I was already live on the house. She just doesn't know that house before I was living in the town. Other reason why I don't live in there because I don't remember. I only erase into my memory. Um, so that house I was living in there uh, before I'm having children, before I'm having kids and die. So I live in that place 
and it's because it's, it's the town is a city is a boring so I live in the mountain but I visit the town and just clean up the house but I don't live in there and they have uh, they have two stories on the on the house they have first floor second floor and the second floor has a third uh, a three bedroom and the first floor has a one bedroom but I just visited the house and cleaning up I don't live in there okay so after that I live in the mountain uh, I was when I was on that house on that night I was my image changed I don't not know how it changed um, I become um, I don't know how to explain uh, so I died and come out my body uh, then I was being raped with a giant man um, the face of the giant man looked like Moises um, if you could remember the Ten Commandments movie um, I am the one so that child in the river on the Ten Commandments um, I was I was being raped on him and I died and I come out on my body on the house on the town I have a child a boy and then the child was with him and my body is goes to him so that's the story of my life and then after that I I died and then I went to the sky and live um, I saw I watched them living on the cave because I don't know but, Moses live in the house and then she took the child and then my body went to him so that's the story I died and come on my body but I do not know what's the name on the child is because I don't remember after that thing happened I don't remember at all they bring me back to the mountain and the small house in the mountain so I don't remember at all what happened after that so that's the story I died and come on my body I went up to the sky and watched them living the cave with include with my body so i think my body was alive but i do not know what spirits goes to it it's just it's just the body but i do not know it's hard to explain it um i do not know who's the spirit and what is the name on that body now because my name is still dixie no matter what how many times i died okay so um after that thing happened i went back to the mountain and i don't remember at all everything was forgotten and erased into my memory um after that i went i went to first grade until i graduated fourth grade and then go to town fifth grade so and then when i was on the fifth grade school um i met stephanie kansho that she was in the fourth grade and she was close to me and talked to me or something and she told me to the house in the Pastel city there was no people living there it was empty she does not have a parents and and she would they want somebody to take care of the house after that I decided okay maybe I can stay in there maybe a week or a month or something so I was on the house she was not there she she, she I did she does not she was not in the house she does not uh, go on that house she does not uh, leave or something it was empty so I was on the house and there was I do not know how is the man goes on the house either uh, she's not invited and I don't know why she went there you know what she's doing she beating me with a with a whip on the on the belt and then raped me at the same time I I, I went to the town and the police station even the police will never believe me he just told me it's your father and I said if it's my father why would my father would rape me or their own daughter so that's the story of my life and I was in the fifth grade um, the other thing that I was remember I was um, raped again in the mountain um, that was the person that lived before is uh, Roslyn Kaloy um, their father is Romeo and and Nani. Um, that was Kaloy, Rosalind that live in there. Um, I was that, but when I was sleep on the house, the house was empty. There was nobody in there. I was being raped, and then they cut my hair and the scalp in here, 
and here I have a long hair all the way down to my 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 butt and then they cut over here all the way down here while she was ripping on me and take it off all my hair on the scalp and then take the hair I do not know what happened my hair my head is like a shine in here like like a man it's so shine like the same shine as my skin like this so I don't have a hair at all I get pregnant and I have a boy child and then they take away from me you know where they bring the child they bring in the now place there is a the now place on that mountain um, that's what they put the child and then I don't they put with another woman that has a curly hair woman that but that's not their parents that's not their mother that's not their father and then they steal my child from me and take it away from me and put on that place so that's the story of my life and then there was a white woman in there that, that was uh, in there in the river I asked and then she doesn't they don't I don't receive any help from all of them they were near on me but I don't receive any help from them um, she just you know what she said she just said what did you do son that's it that's all she said but I don't receive any help from their physically movement and their hands thinking on their mind I don't any receive any help from all of them in the mountain and even in the, my experience even in my death I don't receive at all so so after that after that I didn't remember anymore I go back to the, to the mountain again and live in there and forgotten everything that I'm happening to me I don't remember that I'm died I don't remember that I'm having a child okay so after that thing happened I was um, um, l l uh, then I and then I go back to the school like uh, uh, go back to the story on the school okay so I went after I graduate elementary I went go back to I'll see my the thing that the 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 also the thing that I remember um, I was um, the only thing that I m nobody would believe on me even my own parents that I told them as as a parents or guardians nobody will believe in me because I told them I told them what happened to me he, you know what he told me he just told me that's good for you um, when I'm beating and rape at the same time she just said that's good for you I heard a woman that was in the far distance and then she asked me a question she said what did you do in the house I told them I do not know what happened I forgot I forgot that I have to go back here in the mountain and leave um, I go in the house that they told me to do to, to leave that's what I remember but I forgot that I, uh, that place on the mountain at all everything was forgotten I don't remember I don't know, even once that's far as I know but so for me she's not my mother I don't have a mother at all in my life so I don't have a mo I don't have a mother to call as a mom or a dad if that thing happened to me and died and come on your body that means you don't have a parents uh, after that thing happened I was continue going to school uh, continue going to school I was in high school I was uh, high school um, when I was in high school the other thing that I experienced um, they told me that I need to uh, get out on the on the room because I'm said inappropriate words I didn't see any inappropriate words what I just said what I heard um, somebody in the from the other room say something that about Mary Jane so when they say about Mary Jane oh it says oh, Mary Jane their aim is uh, it's a lost young because they're being raped all the time so I asked who raped her that's what I asked and then I'm the one has been mad, uh, being bad because I say something. Um, they take me out on the school, so I go out on the school. When it, I when I walk, 
and the in the noon and then all and then I go up in the mountain I went direct to the school in elementary school and and uh, volunteer to teach the kids in the school in Buena Vista elementary school uh, there was a lot of children oh my goodness they were hugging on me uh, after that um, uh, after that there was uh, I go and then after that I go back on school again um, when I go back to school in high school um, I have a lot of these papers that I need to check all the time from the children that I teach in volunteering teach um, then and then even though they don't tell me to to live on the known I live anyway because I have to volunteer the kids because my life is like around with kids so um so I have to go out on the known even though they don't tell me to do to do it so I just get out in the room so I remember uh, I, I forgot the name on that man uh, my classmates in high school she's blocking my way because I have to get out on the school in high school so what I did I spit on his in face and I said pat pat like that so I spit on his face because he blocking my way I need to go back to the elementary school and give all these papers to the children that I check on that night um, after that the next the other next time um, there was a man companion on me and and walk with me going up on the mountain I was direct to the Iglesia de Cristo there was a house on the on the front um, Iglesia de Cristo on the front they have a house uh, her I remember her name his name her name is Demet Demeti that's her name she told I, I asked her a drink of water water and then you I, I and then she said to me um, what would we do to kill her faster and then I heard another woman and then she said oh you need to po you need to put the poison on the drink so she died faster um that's all I remember and then after that I go back up on the on the school in a, uh, elementary school in Buena Vista um, because of the children still in there I still stay in there um the child I live in the other classroom it's empty the third grade and the fourth grade was empty room so I sleep in there and then the other children is in the other room um I was sleeping and I'm being raped I don't know who I don't know who who raped me because it's night time I was pregnant that was that was in high school I was second year high school I was pregnant and I just sleep and sleep because I'm so tired I'm pregnant I have pain so I sleep on the table on the school um, the man that raped me she come out on the school and then she punched my stomach she punched my stomach and then the child come out in my stomach has a clip lips the lips in here is cut in here it's open right here it's open that was that was in when I was in high school and then the other white woman uh, she came and then she take away the kids from me um, she take away the kids from me uh, I do not know where she bring it she was short and white and the child is white and has a clip lips in born in here I was I was in high school but I was on the elementary school so that's all the story of me with my kids and and that's that's the birthday fix that he has that's the sign he has a clip lips the other thing that i remember that i'm after that thing happened i was for it's forgotten again it was erased into my memory i was going to the town the school in the town and and um for some reason for some reason i they bring me in the house of my teacher in math in Vladivostok. Okay, that was near in the police station. On that 3 p.m., there was a lot of uh, people surrounding on the house, but I do not know what happened. I woke up. There was a lot of cut all over my body and my skin. Every body, the whole over my body, had a lot of cut, like cut with a knife. 
I woke up and then so when that thing happened I ran to the church in PIC Philippine Independence Church and and sit in there and relax and asking myself how is these things happen to me why would I don't remember anything after that thing happened everything was healed I go back to school again in high school so when I was in high school um, for some reason they bring me again in the house and I um, I don't remember the mountain the house that I was going to um, after that thing happened um, I was being raped and then I have a child a boy born when I was there she so was white and then I even bring to the school the child I bring to the school in high school in front of a lot of students and then I was sit in there but I was my body you cannot you cannot tell because my body was not like this I was a little bit fat or um, and then and then I because of because the child is disturbing for the class I have to get out on the class so I go back I go into the house and then after that they have the image that look like bloody Vostok his name is uh, that was his name uh, bloody Vostok Tubu Villanueva that was his name so I was go back on the house he uh, he arrived in the house in the afternoon and then he, he grabbed the child from me and then he threw the child in it threw the child and the child hit into the chair so I get out of the house and take the child and went to the church in PIC in Philippine Independence Church um, the other woman came again and then she took away the child from me and she said we need to take out your child from you so the child will never hurt um, but I do not know after that I do not know what happened I don't remember at all so after that that was that was the thing I remember so I think Mm. I have two children born when I was in high school. The one has a clip lips and the other one was in bloody Bostock. And the other thing that I was remember, I was in the house in the town, the same house. Um they have the child I I deliver animals children. So I don't only deliver a human but I deliver animals children. I have a it um it's it's the lever of the child that's come out into my womb and on my body and there was two of it one boy and one girl a sheep a ducks a cow a bird and a horse uh, a pigeons and a goat a chickens and that was and then there's only one child boy born on that time because they told me they told me why would you don't want a human and I said yeah I want a human but um, so that's the thing that they have one boy child born with a lot of animals their brother and sisters but after that even the animals take it away from me and the child take it away from me so everything was taken away from me even my own life I guess they had take away from me um, after that thing happened I was going back to the mountain I was um, I do not know how to explain go back to the mountain every time I do not know what's happening on this mountain because every time I have to go back and live on that place everything was erased and forgotten I was forgotten everything I forgot that I'm having a child I forgot that I died I forgot this I forgot that everything was forgot um, after that um, I have another child when after I graduate high school even I after graduate high school I don't remember and I'm having a child and I don't remember I died so after graduate high school I went to Manila. I work. Mm, not not only that. Not right away, cause I still work in Bay City. I still work in in Bay City. 
after I graduate, I was in a Joubert's Big Shop. I started in Bay City, so I work on Bay City in Joubert's Big Shop. After that, it transferred me to Bindoy in Joubert's Big Shop, and then I was in Gihongan. Okay, so in in Gihongan, I was being raped, and and have a child, and I and then, um. All my clothes and my clothes that I wear, my uniform is being stolen by the house where I live. Um, I was on that night as I'm being grabbed and bring to the house in the front of the bakery in the Joubert's big, big shop in Gihongan City. Um, I do not know who is those fat woman and fat men that arrived into the house. Um, as soon as she arrived, she arrived, she was fat, she, she punched my stomach. Um, it was so painful, I feel dizzy and hurt. I feel I fell asleep. She stole my child and then after that I try my best to get up and how how can I how can I fight back? But it's so painful and feel hurt that I cannot move. All I did is watching because the bakery is closer to the house. And the child is being bring to the Jubert's big, sh big shop. So that's what I saw it. And I saw Juvie in there. Uh, Juvie, the baker, um, she was there. And then she, he was asked me, why you don't protect your child? And I said, how can I protect it? I just deliver kids and I have wounds and w in my wounds. And I just bleeding in them. And they punch my stomach and steal my child from me by having and then you think how you think like how can I get fight in it? I don't have a husband to protect me or my brother to protect me. I don't have a sister to protect me. So since so the child has been taken away from me on that place too, she was boy and white, and I do not know after that. After that, what happened? I do not know who this fat woman is. I do not know who she is. But I I don't I hate them when they closer to me. When I feel hatred and hateful, when this motherfucker is close to me because they did something wrong to me, all right? Okay, so that's what the story is. After that, um, if I go back again to the town, I ride the bus, the bus, the Ceres liner, um, bus, the Ceres bus liner. So I go back to the town in Ayon, and then and then I forgot. And all my things and all my clothes is being stolen and taken away from me as soon as that all happened. Everything was taken away from me. Um, I after me after many uh, maybe one year passing by, I forgot things that these things are happening to me. Um, I was uh, uh, f go back. I went to Manila. Uh, I work in Manila. Um, I was on Tagig City. Um, that was year two thousand. In year two thousand, that's what I lived there. I work in the factory. I was in Comark International. I work in uh, Santa Maria uh, a factory. Factory uh, building that was in the Mode International, the Fashion International, the Garments, and in the Comark International. I was working there. Um, after that, um, finish, uh, it's always six months, six months work. I was on that night, that was, um, maybe 2003, that thing happened, or I think 2003, in the front of the house where I live, where, uh, Faye Vasquez and, T uh, Chidor Vasquez live. I was having a child with him. He, he raped me. It looked like him. Um, I have a child with him. It's a boy. And he, they're taken away from me. I was raped on the house on the where Faye Vasquez live. And so the child was taken away from me. He was a boy. Um, but the child was smart because they were connected to their father. Uh, I teach them how to read and write. And they even, they even know how to read and write. And that's... That's the big story, different, different story about my children. Um, so I have a child with him and then they take away from me. Uh, I got 
I got being raped in the uh, in the other house, um, in the center of the other house with Faye Vasquez and Chidora Vasquez Lou. There was a color white house too, and they were being I being raped in that night, and then I'm having a child, a girl. They told me it was Alina. She was a girl. Um, they were taken away from me. Uh, I was work on the Lower Bikutan public market when that thing happened. Uh, that was Lower Bikutan public market. Um, while I work in there, I did not know the child is watching on me. Um, so that's the story. That that's the story that I have a child with it and the gig. After that, I also I was in the fish pen. Uh, in the in the fish pen lake manila bay lake the idea was a house in the middle of the lake in the ocean and i live in there i was being raped with a f one of the friends um, on all the brothers and uh, whose brothers uh, uh, l max and and then i was pregnant with him and because i was pregnant i i um they bring me to the mountain I was go back to the mountain and then there was it's a night time and during that night time that's what um, I pregnant in Manila and then go back on the mountain adventures I was delivered the kids on the near in the river in the flat rocks in the center of the house in the mountain I died and I come out in my body uh, my child is being taken taken away from me on that night and then the placenta that come out in my body it's like a round huge meat that come inside my stomach and then it come out and he eat it like raw it's not even cooked it's disgusting um he eat it, the raw meat and then my dad was laying there in blood you know what she told what you know what she told me oh chang what did you do and i said what do you mean by what i do um He's, he's questioning what I do because what I did I washed my body in the water to clean it up because there was a lot of blood it's bloody a lot of blood because it's just a living a child he was wearing my clothes he she was wearing my clothes okay she was wearing my clothes because usually when you die and come on your body that clothes belong to that body they not belong to me anymore. So he was wearing my clothes when I delivered that child. Um, and I washed her in the river and changed her clothes. And she was dry up and she was alive. She's not dead. Um, she, both of them goes on the, on the, on the cave near in Syria between Syria and Juning River in the cave. After that, I, I went on my own different direction. I was on my own. And then after that, what happened, they bring me to Manila. Back. They bring me back to Manila. Um, after that, I remember her. Um, the other thing that I experienced in Manila when I was in Antigig City, I was also being raped in the school, um, in the church, in the Catholic church. That was Antigig City. I was in in the in the church in the Catholic church. There was a bedroom in the back, so I was there and sleep supposed to, and then I was being raped because night time is my sleep time. That's my that's my uh, rest time night, but for some reason they, they came in there and then they raped me. There was a lot of people surrounding on me, but not even one of them can even help me. I was being raped and have a child. I do not know what is the name of the child. Um, the ch then after that they're taking away the child from me. I have to get up on the bed after having a child and then mop the floor because there was a lot of blood on me and there was a lot of people surrounding me and even one of them can even help me. Um, the, child, the child was taken away already and then the church was empty the next day. I'm the only one in there left over and then and then I left because there's no child and my child is not in there. why should I have to stay I don't have a child in that place they're being taken away already so I left on the church 
I want go back to the other direct the other places in Bagumbayan Tigig, Bagumbayan Tigig City. So that's the story of my life. Then after that, I died. Um, um, I remember, I remember the witness on that time when I was a child, and there Ariel was there and Guadalupe on that night. He was there. She was there. Guadalupe, Ariel, and a lot of the other people that was their friends that I do not know who they are. So that's the story. That's that's as far as I remember. So Guadalupe was there. Ariel was there on that night, and the other rest of their family. And the child was taken away from me, but I do not know where is the child. And I do not know what's the name on their name on them now, because I don't remember at all. Um, after that, I get out of the church, and then that's the thing happened. Um, I was I was go back to uh, walk. From the church all the way down to Bagumbayan. Um, I have so many experiences, death and life. Um, and then after that, I remember Ariel when when came to me, and then I died again and I have a child. He was there, and uh, he he fly he fly like a bird, and I and then he said, "Why you don't follow me?" That's what he said. I said. Who you are that I have to follow, and he said, and then and then he said his name is Jesus, but I died and come on my body, and then the child was in there, and there was a, a boy child near in my body, and then, and then he said, my name is Jesus. So I told him, if your name is Jesus, um, I'll make my body alive. So after that, uh, then when you do that, then I follow you. Okay, so when my body was alive, when he he taught, he he made my body alive, and then the uh, my, the child was there, and then the and then the man was alive. So on both of them were taken from helicopter. So only me and him that look like Ariel, me and together. So we I fly too, like it's, it's like a spirit you fly. You sit on the on the branch of the trees near in the middle of the ocean. So I after that, I don't follow on him. He carry on me, cause he got a wings like he fly and then he has a wing. So he carry on me. Um, when he carried me, he dropped me in the middle of the ocean. That was after him having a child. So he dropped me in the middle of the ocean. And then I, and under and under the ocean there was a castle like a house. Uh, I met Poseidon, the old man. He was so old, and I can breathe. And I'm still a human. I don't have a fins. I I still have a legs. Uh, I'm not a mermaid. And then after that I heard a voice in the mountain saying that. Um, the next day, I was living there one night and one day only, and that's it. And then he said, and then I heard him words saying, uh, Poseidon, I want my child back here in the land. She's not belonging in your ocean. She does. She's not a fish. So he bring me. He may bring. He bring me back to the to the to the land, and and she does. Um, he bring me to to the land but that we ending he bring me near in the land where the where the Catholic Church where I deliver the kids that I died. That's what I come out. So I go I don't I don't stay in that church. Uh, I don't stay in that compound in there. They have a church and the houses. I don't stay in there. So I get out and walk all the way down to Bagumbay and take in again. Um Okay, so bef that kind, so the as far as I know, on that church and Catholic church and the gig that I'm having a child, I was there before I went to Manila. They bring me in there. The man is flying. He bring me in there, and I live in the house in the back. The they have like a, look like an apartment in the back of the church. I live in there in the room, but it's a different room. They have so many rooms in there that you can live. Um. 
after and then the man the woman the, the woman that bring me in there what she's doing I, what I'm doing before that was before I went to Manila and that's happened before I'm starting first grade so I discover I discovered the church before then and the, the house so I said to myself I already I already live on this place um where um I said I already went I already live in this place before the person that that there they're collecting money on me while I'm staying she's asking money me all the time um I was staying in the house on that place and then and then I just cleaning the room and then clean up the church that's what I did clean up the the house and then clean up the church the other thing that I don't like, there was another bedroom in the other side and there was a fat woman all she's doing is laying in the bed. They don't even do anything. And then I, I discovered that the, the room has a lot of um, infected bugs, fleas look like a termites. They were under the bed and then she just lay in there and she doesn't care. And then the, 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 the bedroom has disgusting smell. I told Ariel, Ariel, I need a spray in here. She said, why do you want to need a spray for? I said, there was a lot of termites and bugs and the house need to be cleaned up and maintained. And then that's the story happened to me. So after that, that was... Um, after that, I go back again on the lower Bikotan public market. I worked there with uh, in the front of the, the feeds where Ariel works uh, inside on it in Lower Bikulan Public Market um, for some reason he bring me to um, I died in there and then they bring me to the palace you know what they're doing when they bring me to the palace they cut my body in half and open widely and then they rape me at the same time but I do not know what he saw inside my stomach probably he saw a poop in there because I eat food that's what I think because he that's what he does what they're doing but it was I don't I cannot move my body it was being cut it's being cut in half and then open widely and I do not know what he what his look in it and then then and then as soon as he leaves and gone I was healed but I do not know if it's Ariel that doing that it's somebody else mm. The other thing that I remember that they bring me to the palace, um, the man threw me from the top of the building and then he threw me all the way down to the ground. And that's what they're doing. So that's what I, as far as I remember, the second time. So I just telling you all the experiences about my life. Um, the other thing that I was remember, I was, um, uh, um, he bring me to I do not know why he bring me in that place. Ariel bring me in that place. That was in Golgotha. I saw a man there uh, hanging on the cross. He was alive. I was near on him, and I was uh, when I was being in that place. I I feel paralyzed. I'm dead. I cannot move my body at all. I was like I don't have fucking life. It's a limp, uh, paralyzed. That was on Golgotha. I'm laying on the ground and sleep in there for many days and no pillow, no blanket. So I sleep in there. So after that, um, the next, after three days, Ariel come back and then the man that was on the cross was alive and come out on the cross. And then they just left me alone in there in that place. They don't care about me. And so after that when both are gone ariel and the other man are gone um the other day again he come back and then he bring me back to the mountain and i go back to the house and i i try to go back on the house ah uh, um, on that time i do not know how i get magic power i make the tree has a lot of fruits the the thing that Egypt, the egyptian doing that that grind and turn into a wine um 
I do that. I, I make a little slow. I don't know how I get power. Uh, I got a magic. Magic make a lot of fruits. And then he told me, don't do that again. Because if you do that, only the birds eat all the fruits. And you're using your a lot of energy. And, and, and that's useless. So I didn't do anymore after that thing happened. Um, she also he and then I went to the house in the mountain where I sleep and then he said don't go back on the house again because there are nobody living there. I said I was living there before. That's the house I was living. Even after I graduate high school. So and then she bring me back to Manila. And then she bring me back to the church where I got raped and had like having a child and then there was so many people inside the church. She told me to introduce myself, and I said, why would I have to introduce myself over there in front of a lot of people? And then he said, hey, you just go on the stage and just say your name. So I went to the stage and say your name, and I see the men talk and talk to each other and said, oh, I, that kind of girl and woman, I saw her in Golgotha. She's the one sleeping on the ground. So after that, I don't know what happened. So I go back on the car and the um, the lower Bicolan public market. So after that, they bring me to the sky. Um, that same day, the other day, um, they bring me to the sky near in the mountain. I having birth with a child in the sky and. And then the child is look like they have a hatred, a hateful on on the child. But it's not the child, that newborn child. It's somebody else's kids. Um, he sees something different. She just said, "Mommy, why you kill me?" He it's like she like she as accusing me to kill me, just having a child and deliver on this world. And then she asked me why I have to why why they kill her. I don't kill her. And she, I was on the sky and she was there too. But the child has been taken away from me as soon as they were born. And then there's another kid came to me and talk. You think that new, newborn child can talk? I don't think so. And then she just said, oh, mommy, why would you kill me? And I, and I asked them, I asked him, oh, Jesus, what are child talking about? I don't kill nobody, just deliver a child. Can I even move my own body? Because I'm just having a child and pain in here, and then accusing me for having killing a child. And who's this child anyway? But uh, that's pro that that's newborn child. I do not know where's the child now. She was born on the sky, and I don't like I don't like the other kids the way they accuse on me. Um, because that's what I heard. It just came on the sky. Well, I'm sleeping on this in the clouds. I'm sleeping on the clouds. The child was born, and then there was another child accused me of killing on him that I cannot even move my own body. And then the, the child's being taken away from me, and I don't know where they bring. So I look on the earth, near on the school, in Buena Vista Elementary School, and I saw piglets in there. And the child turned to piglets. I don't know which one is turned to piglets. The child that speak bad words against me, or the child's, or the child that my child that was born newborn on that time because I know a newborn doesn't speak like that the house be an adult not a child so that's the story of my life so so after that I decided I have to leave and and that's the time I was ending when leaving the in the anti gig and I was uh, 2005 I was here in uh, Gwyn in Palm Beach County here in Loxahatchee in this house now in 16085 East Lancashire Drive in Loxahatchee. So I live in here, came from the Philippines. Um, the other thing that I was remember, I, they bring, told me that we have to travel for a month, we have to go on the ship. So I went to the ship and then I was uh, being raped on the ship. I'm having a child. I have a boy child wife. I was in a commercial with the, the sunshine and sun silk shampoo, the Philippine shampoo, the sun silk, uh, the sun silk shampoo and sun silk conditioner um, shampoo and the hair that used to hair to shampoo the hair. Um, I was on the commercial on the ship 
and then we arrive in the Maggette city the child the child is suffering um, I, there was a, a woman that looks like a, mom, a mother to me that she has a curly hair um, she told me to throw the child on the lake so she can save it so I'm look like I'm, I'm a bad mommy so I have to throw the child only to look her look better that I'm a bad mommy so um, so I try I, I throw the child on the lake and then really she saved the child she took the child from the lake and the child and then gave it back to me so and then the child is still alive and then the other man came and said to me go ahead throw the child and I save it I threw the child on the lake and and that was in the Maggette city in the city place near in the cathedral church um, so I threw the child in the lake in the river and then he saved the child and then back to me and I said to myself that's it that's enough um, this child is suffering so much and drowned in the water I I put I I decide because of these people surrounding on me I just I have to decide it alone I have to be live by myself I have to be I have to be by myself not surrounding with these people so I leave the child in the house in the Maggette city in there in the cathedral church in the city in the city um, I go back to the mountain because I saw Serena in the in, in the image they were in the mountain so i go back in the mount and i decided to leave the, the child alone in the house and live by themselves without a mother because if they have to live to me they have to be suffered because all this motherfucker are following on me that uh, all they're doing is hurting my children so i have to leave them in the house alone so i go back in the mountain after that i forgot that i'm having a child um i go back again here in the u.s I have another child born in the ship again here in Palm Beach County in the ship. The child was taken away from the window. Um, the ch I remember as far as I remember a child has a blue eyes and white skin and and gold hair. That's as far I remember when they were born. Um, I do not know what happened. The child has a lot of poop all over the body and then they're trying my best to uh, uh what they're trying my best to aggravate on me so I can give the child to them and they, they did everything violent so they can take the child from me and they did everything they could to hurt me to hurt me so they can take the child from me and then when the man I heard a man in the mountain saying that she wants to be with a child and I, they gave it to me a letter so I said okay I'm not a greedy person, so I gave the child, and she did the, the child has been taken away through the window on the ship, and there was another child born with another fat woman, uh, with the same face as my husband, but I don't know, and and then they have the same face as my child, but the child, my child was born first on that ship. I only have one, ch uh, two children born on the ship, but the second time child born. Um, they were taken away on the window and then it's because the fat woman she does not la she he's she is so violent to her kids so I decided to take the child both even though it's not my child they have the same face as my child but my child has only has one a uh, blue eyes and white skin and has a gold hair but the other they have the same image as the child has a, bra a gold hair white skin but the eyes are different they're not blue eyes so and so i decided to to take both the child because the other woman what she's doing she's giving the child a bath in the hot water and then she she even punching the child a newborn child while they were in the crib so that's what she's doing she's hurting her own kids that was delivering her so i take both and the stroller has double seat I don't know, the stroller has a double seat and then the other man violent she was tried to violent to the child so they can take away the child from he threw a child from the stairs while they were in the strollers two kids both my kids and the other kids uh, and then uh, 
after that okay i decided okay take the child but after that i, I don't forget any i i don't remember anymore where is the child uh, um they're being taken away on the ship and the window in palm beach county um, only god knows where they live now i hope they're still alive and i do not know what's their name anymore um i do not know if they knows i'm their mother because they're taken away only when they're babies uh, so that was that was in the year 2005. on 2005 i was here we travel i live here in in the Loxahatchee. we travel go back to orlando i was uh i was in the car accident um i was hospitalized in uh, 45th street at saint mary's medical center uh, um, the only thing that broke on my on my body the bones is the hips so be able they operate my my legs and uh, and only the hips was broke and then the knees and the hips are broken in the hospital um, because they they have to to drill and uh, drill a hole into my knees so my knees and my kneecap are 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 broke and my hips are broke i suffer for one year here in palm beach county um, my my head all over in here a lot of wounds on my face is a lot of cuts and wounds um, so that the story I suffered for one year in Palm Beach County year in 2005 and that's happened after I'm having children so even though I'm after I'm having children I still have having children I still have child Jan Caesar when during the car accident I was pregnant with Jan Caesar and she was 14 years old now and she was here in the school in Palm Beach County um she was yeah she was in the school his name is john caesar galvis house um that was after that was she was born after i'm having a car accident and i have mary helen hired too she was born um 2010 and john caesar was born 2007 so that's the story of my whole life for all the death and life so 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 the, that's the story so that's the, the other thing that i i still remember in the mountain um i'm i was driving a car uh, i was went to the Maggette city and then i was on the empty field then i was driving a car and then when i parked the car in the empty field i see a giant huge man he smashed the car while I'm sitting in there and park, but the car does not move. I just sit in there and then she just smashed the car with his own hands and and then I died. But before that thing happened, I have a child girl born in the house. Um the child was born before that thing happened. Uh I do not know where she bring the child is. So that was on the house. And then after that, um, I died and come out in my body. And then I went up on the sky. And then the, even though I died and come out in my body, he's still following on me and saw me in the sky. And then I point on him where is my body. So I told him my body was on the ground sleeping. He doesn't care. As he just he doesn't care. As he just keep bothering me. I don't know what's wrong. Why would he have to bother me all the time? And that's the story of my life. Um, I was in the car. Uh, uh, this I, di I died while I I was inside the, the car, cause he smashed it with his own hands. His hands like a machine, and she smashed it. And, and then I died. And come on, my body. I went up in the sky and watching on them. So that's the story. But before that thing happened, I have a child born, but I do not know where's the child now. So that's the story about my whole life story, and I hope you satisfied watch my video and just give me the comments have a great day now my name and even even i experienced multiple death my name was always still dixie galvis that never never gonna change thank you and have a great day